Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on Vue.js 3 for beginners. In this series, we will start from scratch and learn the different concepts in Vue. In this introductory video, I will briefly talk about the what and why of Vue.js and also the prerequisites to get started with Vue. Alright, let's begin with what is Vue.js. Vue.js is a popular JavaScript framework for building user interfaces. And the last three words are really important. The core Vue library is focused on doing one thing and doing that one thing really well, which is building user interfaces. Vue does not focus on other aspects of your application like routing or HTTP requests. Now, if that raises a concern, as to how would you handle routing, HTTP and other functionality, let me tell you that Vue has a rich ecosystem of other powerful libraries that you can integrate based on your app requirement. For example, there is Vuex npm package for complex state management, Vue router for routing, Vuetify for UI elements, and a lot more libraries for every requirement you might have for your application. All right, now that we know what Vue is and for what purpose it is used, let's see why you might want to learn Vue. I'm going to start with a comforting fact. Vue currently has 175,000 GitHub stars on its repo, which makes it the third most starred GitHub repository in the world. Does that mean it is better than React or other JavaScript frameworks? No. It simply means that thousands of developers around the world enjoy working with Vue. And because of this huge community, you're going to find solutions to most of the problems that you face when building complex web applications. And this for me personally is a huge plus point, knowing that I'm going to find resources online for any problem that I might face during development is always comforting. But let's focus on the technical aspects of Vue, which makes it a wonderful framework to use. The Vue docs categorize this into three core reasons. The first one is that Vue is approachable. Getting started with Vue is really simple. All you need is familiarity with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can add a script tag with a reference to Vue.js and start building Vue applications in no time at all. The developer experience is also great with tools like the Vue DevTools, which gives insight into your apps, and also tools like the Vue CLI, with which you can quickly scaffold and manage projects. Vue also has a component-based architecture. This lets you break down your application into small encapsulated parts, which can then be composed to make more complex UIs. Components make it possible to write reusable code, which is always great for any project. Another important point is that Vue is declarative. And what does that mean? Well, basically, we just have to tell Vue what we want the UI to look like and Vue will do the hard work of ensuring the DOM is modified to reflect the UI. This is in contrast with the imperative programming model where we usually list down the steps explicitly and ask the library to do one thing after the other. The bottom line is that Vue will make it painless for you to create complex user interfaces by abstracting away the difficult parts. The second reason is that Vue is versatile. You have the choice of creating powerful single page applications from scratch using build tools like Webpack, or you can choose to incorporate Vue into your existing legacy projects and make progressive enhancement by making changes only to certain parts of your application. The third reason is that Vue is performant. Vue measures just 20 kilobytes minified and gzipped at runtime. Also, because of virtual DOM, only the necessary pieces in the DOM are updated, which results in better performance. Vue is a framework built by taking the good parts from a lot of other libraries and frameworks and then improving where necessary. 
So if you work with React, for example, you might actually see a lot of similarities. Let me just tell that Vue is going to be a great addition to your skill set. Now then, what are the prerequisites to get started with Vue? As I've already mentioned, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript fundamentals are absolutely necessary. For this course, I will also be making use of ES6 Plus features. So our knowledge of modern JavaScript is also essential. You don't have to be an expert by any means, but there are a few concepts that make it so much easier to write Vue code. I'm going to leave a link to one of my videos where I go over 10 modern JavaScript features that will help you before getting started with Vue. Please do watch that before continuing. My goal is to make sure we all advance from a complete beginner to being an expert with Vue. All right then, with this introduction, let's get started with a simple Hello World application in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.